Well, Bill, we had three victims last night. One of those shootings was someone shot into an occupied apartment. A shell casing was found in that building, but no one was injured. Two of those men are still critical. RPD responding to, again, at least four shooting calls Thursday night, prompting state leaders to take notice. He's in stable condition. Um, brother went right in and out. And um, he's so far, he's good from my understanding. So he's alive, he's breathing. And... I'm, I'm grateful for that. Marquita Blunt says she never thought it would happen to her. And I'm just rolling through, just relaxing, killing time. And then 10 minutes later, I get a phone call that my son has been shot. Her son was on Belle Isle, close to the river, when an argument led to shots fired. He's taken to VCU Medical Center. A half hour later, same story, different address. A man shot in the stomach found in the 3300 block of Maryland Avenue. Taken to VCU with life-threatening injuries, major crimes detectives not the only ones on scene. You see what the governor is trying to do in Petersburg, Republican governor, uh, Democratic uh, uh, mayor, and city council, and they're coming together for the good of the people that they represent. We can do that in Richmond if certain people want it to happen, and I'm talking about in government. Lieutenant Governor Winsome Sears was on the third shooting scene Thursday night. She says she was in a meeting about gun violence, but also wanted to hear from people living in affected communities. When you talk to the people who are being directly affected by the gun violence, they say that this gun buyback program is a sham. They just use it to upgrade. They they. They're not turning in any guns that are used in shootings, no. If they are, how, how many of all those guns that were bought back, they say to me, uh, did we find was used to commit a crime? Somehow or another, they're able to get a hold of these guns. We don't know where they're coming from. And the biggest fear is either getting a knock on your door or a phone call. And my Crime Insider sources tell me one man was detained on that Belle Isle scene last night, but still no official arrests have been made. If you know anything about any of these shootings, you're asked to call major crimes detectives on their anonymous tip line. That number, 804-780-1000.